Ever wondered why choosing between a chocolate and vanilla ice cream can feel like a philosophical debate? Picture this, you're standing at the ice cream parlor weighing your options. Chocolate or vanilla? This simple scenario is a microcosm of philosophy in action. It's about making decisions, not just asking the big questions. Each choice we make, from the seemingly trivial to life-altering, is guided by our own unique philosophical framework. Every decision we make, whether it's selecting an ice cream flavor or choosing a career, is a philosophical journey. Philosophers like Socrates and Immanuel Kant have left us invaluable insights into the art of decision-making. From the bustling streets of ancient Athens, Socrates challenged the status quo, pushing his contemporaries to question their values, their beliefs and their choices. It was Socrates who said an unexamined life is not worth living, reminding us that our decisions matter and should be made thoughtfully. Over 2,000 years later, Immanuel Kant, in his quiet study in Königsberg, grappled with the concept of moral imperatives. He proposed that our decisions should be guided by a sense of duty, a universal moral law. Act only according to that maxim whereby you can at the same time will that it should become a universal law, Kant proposed. This idea, the categorical imperative, asks us to consider the wider implications of our choices. Their philosophies not only shape their times, but continue to influence our decisions today. Ethics, morality, logic, reason, knowledge, belief, these are the tools of philosophy that guide our decisions. You see, ethics and morality aren't just high-minded concepts. They're the compass that guides our choices. They help us navigate the labyrinth of right and wrong, offering us a way to make decisions that align with our values. Then we have logic and reason, the twin pillars of clear thinking. They're like the guardrails on a winding road, keeping our thoughts on track and preventing us from veering into the wilds of irrationality. They help us cut through the noise and make sound decisions. Lastly, we come to knowledge and belief. These are the ingredients that flavor our choices. What we know, or think we know, shapes our perceptions of the world and influences every decision we make. So, the next time you're faced with a tough decision, remember, you're not just choosing, you're philosophizing. Now that you know philosophy isn't just about big questions, but about everyday decisions, what will you do differently? Philosophy isn't a lofty concept reserved for scholars. It's a practical tool that you can use in your day-to-day -day life. Next time you're faced with a decision, big or small, try applying a little Socratic questioning or Kantian ethics. Make your choices with a philosopher's mindset. Who knows, it might just change everything. Embrace the philosopher within you. Your next decision awaits.